Hey Glass Fusion peeps! Today I'm going to show you how I made this Seder plate. To start off with, I cut two 10 inch circles, one out of the translucent, translucent blue and clear, and full fused that together. I then, using um, the shock frit with different blues, I created this nice little border and fired at a lacy contour. Then I did my best to cut a circle the size of my blue solid part of my plate out of paper and drew my circles as close to evenly apart as I could and cut those circles out. I am now using this as a template to trace onto my fiber felt so that I can um, use the fiber felt as my slump mold instead of a ceramic or metal mold that we have. So I then traced that onto my fiber felt and then cut out using an X-Acto knife those holes. Once I cut that out, I drew as best I could the exact shape around my um, piece so I knew exactly where it needed to go each time I placed it down. That way I knew my... Um, little spots for that hold all my different things on my Seder plate went back in the exact same spot every time. I then uh, drew on a separate sheet of paper um, what I wanted to be written on top of my Seder plate. So I drew out here where it's just this um, Pesach and in Hebrew and um, I put that on top of the fiber felt under the glass so that I could then trace I could see it and then trace on top of it with the um, old overglaze um, luster that you can buy on Amazon. It's a little expensive and it's very caustic and dangerous so you need to be careful. You need to wear gloves and a mask, um, maybe even something stronger than the cloth masks we're wearing because of COVID because breathing this in or ingesting it could literally kill you so you need to be very careful. I then placed my piece in the kiln to fire at a tack slump and uh, here's my finished piece. I'm quite happy with it. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.